The Animal Legal Defense Fund worked with an undercover investigator to infiltrate a slaughter and processing facility owned by Tyson in Texas. The undercover investigation proves that the conditions at Tyson are systematic. They're not isolated, but they're a company-wide problem. And it's a problem of exploiting workers and animals in a system designed to maximize profit. While I was employed at Tyson Foods, I witnessed suffering, injuries, and inhumane deaths to hundreds, perhaps even thousands of chickens every day. The live hanger room where I worked is where the chickens are hung in shackles on a slaughter line that ultimately brings them to where they are killed. Employees are required to hang 35 chickens per minute. This number is figured out by Tyson so that if eight people are hanging, 132,000 chickens will be hung for slaughter in an eight hour shift. Tyson's expectation of line speeds are totally unrealistic, and they push workers to ignore standards meant to protect animals, food safety, and their own safety. The chickens were brought in on a conveyor belt that were covered in dirt and feces. The conditions in the live hang are filthy and horrendous for both the people and the animals. When the conveyor belt turned on, the lights would be turned off. All you heard was the constant terrified clucks of the babies who were barely six weeks of age. At the end of the conveyor belt, amputated chicken feet would often accumulate. I witnessed dozens and dozens of dead chickens on the conveyor belt that were suffocated to death. This happened almost every day and could have easily been prevented by Tyson Foods, but wasn't. I witnessed on two separate occasions the belt malfunctioning. When this happened, I estimated at least two to 300 chickens died at one time. The Animal Legal Defense Fund filed a complaint with the Food Safety Inspection Service because of the conditions documented by our investigator. The conditions showed violations of USDA's food safety and animal handling standards, including animals being crushed by machinery and animals that appeared to be dead being put into processing. The absolute worst thing I had to do while working at Tyson was to rip the heads off of live chickens. You could tell that the chickens were alive and scared as you put their heads into the hook. Working at Tyson Foods for 21 days made me physically sick. I got feces in my eyes and mouth regularly. I had heat rashes, eye discharge, blisters on my hands, carpal tunnel, infected scratches and cuts, severe fatigue and body aches, and a head cold from the bad air quality. For more information on what you can do to hold Tyson accountable, please visit ALDF.org.